A K-Man 27 investigation uncovers National Roads Authority vacuum trucks illegally discharging potentially contaminated solids and wastewater into a wetlands area along Linford Pearson Highway. The Water Authority says this is a practice it does not endorse. K-Man 27's Joe Avery broke this developing story. He now joins us with more. Thanks, guys. Last week, I tagged along with an NRA crew as one of its vacuum trucks pumped a smelly and potentially toxic mixture of wastewater, sand, and sludge out of a clogged drainage well. Yesterday, while driving from one assignment to another, I was shocked to see another NRA vacuum truck backed into a wetlands area along the Linford Pearson Highway, apparently discharging its contents into the natural environment. This triggered a sense of moral outrage in me, and I reached out to the multiple agents and ministries, including the NRA and Water Authority, for answers. Black water rises from a clogged drainage um, well in Georgetown. NRA crews routinely it's... use I'm a vacuum right? truck like this can, one to suck out this smelly <laughs> mixture of sand and potentially contaminated solids. But you may be surprised to find out exactly where it's disposed check, of. Check. K Man 27 cameras caught this NRA vacuum truck discharging its contents on this piece of swampland along the Linford Pearson Highway in direct contravention of the Water Authority law. It very specifically says that if you uh, do anything that impacts groundwater, including the discharge of waste into or onto the ground, that's the terminology that is in the, in the law. That requires a permit from the Water Authority. Water Resources Engineer Hendrik Van Hendren says the Water Authority would be unlikely to grant such a permit. We do not know exactly what it is, and that is, uh, that is the potential problem. If there are all natural material that is in there, a sand and a little bit of leaves and that sort of business, it wouldn't be a bad thing. But we recognize that this, this material is, is not of good quality and it may have uh, whatever pollutants in it. K-Man 27 received this statement from NRA Acting Managing Director Edward Howard. Quote, to my knowledge, there was a previous arrangement with the DEH to discharge well affluent at a specially prepared location at the landfill. This arrangement, it appears, is no longer feasible. End quote. Mr. Howard said the NRA is working with the Water Authority and others to develop a solution for more effective discharge of this sort of waste. Based on a conversation that we had via email, this the NRA. This is not an adversarial situation. Mr. Van Hendren says he's confident the NRA and other agencies are committed to a solution that does not include roadside discharge. We always have the tool available where they can be prosecuted under the law, but that is kind of a last resort. Um, taking people to court is, is a whole messy situation and very costly and takes a lot of time. Um, if you have to do it, you do that, but, but you try first to work with the people who are causing these sort of problems. Now the Water Authority says proper disposal of this type of waste would entail separating the solid components from liquid components. The solids could potentially be handled at the landfill and the remaining wastewater, provided it was free of oil, could potentially be treated at the water treatment plant. Live in the studio, Joe Avery, Cayman 27. sludge and potentially toxic wastewater, a Cayman 27 investigation yesterday revealed National Roads Authority's vacuum trucks illegally dumping untreated well waste into wetlands along Linford Pearson Highway. Here with an update is Cayman 27's Joe Avery. Thanks, guys. The Water Authority is charged with protecting and developing groundwater resources for Cayman's present and future populations. Water Resources Engineer Hen Hendrik Van Hendren says if there is a silver lining to yesterday's revelation that the NRA is discharging this mixture of wastewater and solids, if there's, if there's an extremely low likelihood that any contaminants in the well effluent are leaching into the groundwater. Here's why. It is a swamp area, and typically these swamps have a thick layer of peat at the bottom. Um, what that peat does, it is an Im almost impermeable layer, which means that water hardly moves in and out of that. So it is not, it's just sitting there on top of the surface in the, at that particular location where, where we're looking at. Mr. Van Hendren says while the sand, sludge, and wastewater you see on your screen pumped from these drainage wells can be potentially toxic, that isn't necessarily the case. He says depending on their location and what's gone to each well, each tank load of black water could have very different concentrations of toxic contaminants. 
We can do some basic testing there. I would look at nutrients, for instance, because that, that is what impacts surface waters and whatnot. Um, but how deep do you go where they should be testing for fuel-related stuff and things like that? that? That is a bit questionable, but that, those are things that we will consider. And there's a whole laundry list of unanswered questions as we head into the long holiday weekend. At the top of my list, when did the NRA, uh, NRA agreement with the DEH become no longer feasible and how long this illegal discharging has been taking place? Now, I put these questions to the NRA and DEH, and I'm still awaiting answers. Joe Avery, K-Man 27. The National Roads Authority's well vacuuming program is now on hold. This after a Cayman 27 investigation uncovers the NRA discharging well waste into the wetlands along Linford Pearson Highway last month. The Water Authority is planning to test this wastewater for contaminants to determine the best disposal method going forward. Cayman 27's Joe Avery reports. Drainage well vacuuming is now on hold. On the 14 feet. The NRA suspended the activity after a multi-agency meeting last month to address its practice of discharging well water waste into the wetlands off Linford Pearson Highway. The goal is to get the program back up and running, but in a way that makes sure that the environment is being protected at the same time. Corporate communications officer Hannah Reed says to achieve that goal, the Water Authority will have to determine what, if any, contaminants are present in this type of wastewater. Until we know exactly what contaminants, if any, are in the storm well water waste, we're not, we don't know how to, accurate, to effectively dispose of it. So the testing is necessary to be able to find out what the proper method of disposal should be. Unanswered questions remain.